the dance or the sequencing movement, the dance or the sequencing movement that at some point you can create. And this obviously helps with when to do everything. It's kind of like the, the glue that holds it all together. If you get this wrong, you're going to be horrendous. If you get this right, you look amazing. So the order of events in the ideal world, we have a shift, then we have the arms, and then we have a turn. And as soon as we start to shift arms, as soon as we start to turn, we're not staying back here. We start to turn on that spot, which leads to the next shift arms, which leads to the turn through the ball. So it's literally a shift arms turn, shift arms turn. Shift arms turn, shift arms turn. It's like a simple, like a rhythm. Da, 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 da. It's like a four chord song, right? And then when you get it all matched up and sequenced correctly, it looks pretty good, but you have to do it really slowly to get your mind used to what does it feel like to shift, move my arms, and then turn. And as my arms are going back, begin the shift, the arms, and then the turn. They just happen like a fraction of a second before, ba ba bang, ba ba bang, ba ba bang. But they create some beautiful rhythms and patterns. And until you get that motion and that sequencing of events, man, golf's hard. But once you got it, shift, arms. Yes, you generate speed, you generate consistency, you generate path, you generate kind of the, the underlying feature that everyone just avoids learning because it's kind of hard to learn a four chord song. But once you get used to that shift, arms, turn, shift, arms, turn, just do it really slowly. And then once you can do it really slowly in parts, then you can add rhythm and speed to it. Literally like playing the guitar. Just first get where are my fingers going? Okay, strum pattern, and then trying to move the fingers at the same time while strumming is really hard, but you can get the same sequence here. Just getting used to each one of those movements slowly and then add rhythm and tempo to it until you start to add a lot of speed to that sequence. Challenging.